It is Tyron Woodley's professional boxing debut against Jake Paul looking to go 4-0. and oh. The crowd electric. The action underway. Paul in the orange and black with LED and Woodley in the white with pink and blue. And immediately, Ariel, when you look at Tyron Woodley coming from mixed martial arts, the guard, the stance, everything is different. This is surreal. We've never seen Tyron in a stage like this before. I do want to point out, Moro, you mentioned the right hand from Jake Paul. His team told me all week, look out for the left. The left will be his undoing. That's the secret weapon we haven't shown yet. There's Paul with a right hand to the body of Woodley and threw an awkward right hand. He will try and get the overhand right in. He has to hope, and Paul would like to counter him when he does it. He has to hope Paul can't counter him. Paul talks a Super Bowl-sized game. This is his own personal Super Bowl, and, and what an atmosphere here tonight, guys. Yeah, it's astonishing that the energy in this building is pretty amazing. Now you mentioned that overhand right. He had a lot of success with that in MMA, but yes. that's of course when people are anticipating the takedown. It won't work as well yeah. in a boxing match, one presumes. Very good point. And there's a double jab through the guard by the bigger Paul before going downstairs with the right. And Woodley told us, you know, he didn't use the jab that much in MMA, but he's worked on it very hard. He's hoping he can use it in this fight. So far, he hasn't. Woodley has to be careful standing straight up. And the big knock on Woodley has been over the last four fights, stuck in neutral. Mm. Can he feel comfortable out of his comfort zone in this new sport? He has lost 16 straight rounds. We want to see some aggression out of him. Oh, good combination by Paul. Many Ariel questioned Woodley's will to continue to fight. It felt like the fire was gone. Maybe this will reignite it. Or he could get lit up and blown out by Jake Paul against Vicente Luque, but then he got finished in the first round. So he has to be measured, but we want to see some aggression as well. He's definitely measured here in the opening round. Going to the body with a couple of right hands, but still very robotic, very mechanical out early on for Woodley. Yeah, and Paul using... Uh, Looks all, much more comfortable. Yeah, using all of this ring, using the jab, and putting some combinations together so far. Paul working with a B.J. Flores, a former title challenger. And Woodley has gotten pointers from the likes of Floyd Money Mayweather. Worked with Cuban boxing trainer Pedro Diaz. Eric Brown. So he has his fair share of boxing intelligentsia in his corner. And in his camp. Wow. Look at the stats, Al. Woodley throwing only six punches in the first round. Meanwhile, Paul landed six punches yes. while throwing 21. You got him, you're win it. I need you to... And we look at the keys to victory for Paul. He needs to counter effectively, and he has done that so far. Control the range, that's another thing he's done, using the jab. And, of course, his big punch is the right hand. That's created most of the seven. As for Woodley... Use the jab to get inside. I haven't seen that yet. Can't throw the off-balance right hands. He'll be countered, but he does need to land a big right hand, so he's got to take the chance to do that. He threw one jab and landed the one jab in the opening round, Al, so he definitely has to work on that. Well, he was 100% anyway. <laughs> yeah. Paul says his goal is to earn people's respect and show people how hard he is working because he takes this more seriously, he feels, than a lot of pro boxers. Which, again, Jake Paul, as he lands the right hand, but you have to admit, Al, he can market himself a lot better than a lot of pro fighters. Better than almost anybody. <laughs> Forget pro boxers. <laughs> I'm fine with giving Woodley a pass for the lack of activity in the first round. New adventure for him, first round out of the way. But now this is going to be a very telling round. Is it the old Woodley or is it the one in 2016 who was pushing the pace? We're about this, to find out. This fight came about as Woodley was in Ben Askren's corner. Ben Askren stopped in the first round by Jake Paul. And Paul and Woodley began, well, to talk a landfill's worth of trash. And now they are talking. So far, fighting a very disciplined fight. Yes. You know? He's, he's using jab, 
uh, punching from range and doing what you know he needs to do to win these rounds. And Woodley just can't get on track offensively, so he's not not so far. And I think Paul is waiting for a Woodley charge that is kind of out of control, so he can counter punch. Big size difference between Paul and Woodley. Woodley with the jab aerial early. And you would think the longer this fight goes, it would favor Woodley. He's fought 25-minute fights. Right. Uh, Paul has never gone past the second round. BJ Flores, head trainer for Jake Paul, told me we dare him to go six, seven rounds. That's where we want to beat him because we think he's going to get tired early. Yeah, they think that the sparring he's done with all those good fighters, including John Pascal and a number of others, will be the difference. Some MMA fighters as well. Mike Perry, he's yeah. sparred. Yeah, very good point. A minute left here in the second round. Still very much a feeling out process, although Jake Paul has landed some combinations. Tyron Woodley surveying the landscape and gets hit with a right hand to the body, left hand upstairs. Well done by Paul. Place the combination punch. Now, you know, you temper that with the fact that he hasn't yet fought. Uh, a pro boxer, but you, you have to look at it and take it at face value because he can throw good combinations. Meanwhile, Woodley from the Show Me State of Missouri looking to show up and show out, but trying to get on track here. Less than 20 seconds left in the second. Paul probably weighing 200 pounds right now. It's a very noticeable difference. Yeah. First time. Yes. Bell in round of three again scheduled for eight. Now our main event. Jake Paul going to the body counter upstairs as Woodley looks to land the jab and that's one right, of the stop. first really good no right punches. hands that Paul has step gotten back. in. You know, he's been pawing to try and find a place for that punch and did get that right hand in very nicely. And there's Woodley jabbing a little bit. We mentioned that we thought we might see some of that from him. When well, we saw the great feature on there, Moms, Errol Young, yeah. you know what they say, you don't talk on Superman's cape, you don't spit into the wind, and you don't mess with anybody's mama. And the mamas, what well, they got along, mama said, knock you out. Yes, and especially Mama Woodley. I think yeah. the entire MMA community was ready to come to Cleveland on her behalf. I heard Tyron's corner say to him, let those hands go. He's starting to do that now in the third round a little bit more. She should get a talk show. That's <laughs> incredible. <laughs> she should get a podcast. There aren't many of those around. No. A minute yeah. gone here in the third. Nice right hand left. So that right to the body, left hand upstairs has been the up well. And Ariel is right. Woodley did come out a little bit more aggressive, and he's going to have to throw. There he opened up with a hook, but he got countered. Countered by Paul, and Paul going to the body with the jab. And I'm not, you know, not a lot of offense, but as we saw the numbers, Paul with the advantage. I don't know about you guys. I'm happy this fight is going longer. I wanted to see more out of Jake. Hopefully, regardless of what happens, he's getting oh, off. Oh, lead right uppercut in the right hand, and Woodley shakes it off. Admit it, Ariel, you just want to be a part of a longer fight here, buddy, making your debut. It's about time the two Canucks were on this That's fight. right. The exactly. A-team, baby, the A-team. Under a minute left here in round three. I feel like I'm in the middle of a Canadian bacon sandwich. <laughs> we welcome you, Al. No. <laughs> and the, the question, and it is an interesting one that Ariel pointed out, you know, Woodley has been longer in a combat open if this fight continues to go rounds. And yes, Woodley's been on the biggest stages as a MMA champion, but at 39, pro boxing yeah. debut hot in under these circumstances. Right. A lot of nervous energy coursing through his face. Yeah, very good point. And will that catch up with him? Oh, Woodley at the bell lands 
a right hand. Paul was looking to land that uppercut that The Rock landed in Jumanji as uh, we have a timeout. Hey, a Jumanji reference. Not my night is complete. But guys, this is fascinating theater now. We've yeah. never seen Jake in this situation before, right? We're going to find out if he truly is a fighter. Fighting in the fourth round, what's going on in his mind? I'd love to know. And you know, a straight right hand lands, and he's now emboldened to throw right hands, Woodley. But will he be countered in doing it? And it looks like Paul is now biting down on his gum shield, and all of a sudden it is down to business after Woodley touched him at the end of the last round. Okay, good break. <laughs> Woodley roughing him up on the inside, which is exactly what he wants to do, right? Don't hit on that break. Lack of activity or not, this isn't Nate Robinson, this isn't Andy Sun Gibb, this isn't Ben Astrid coming up with hip replacement surgery. It's going to take a lot to finish Tyron Woodley. A minute gone in the fourth, and I think the big question There's a jab from Paul. Can Tyron Woodley uh, generate offense? Uh, How does he do it exactly? And then we don't know him as a boxer. How does he do that? It'll take a little more than that. Right hand to the body by Paul. Moving to his left, circling away from Woodley, but right into his power alley, the right hand. And there's an exchange on the inside. Minute and a half left in the fourth. The fascinating part is that Woodley is walking him down. He just hasn't been able to really do anything offensively, but that may come. I don't know how you feel, Al. I disagree with Jake's team. The longer this goes, I think it will favor Woodley. We're going to start to see him look a little better. I think yeah, Jake is getting a little tired. I want well, I want he that. seems to be a little bit, yeah. We'll see how that goes. I think they were basically the sparring sessions, but at this juncture, he's oh, tired. Paul tired. gets rocked by Woodley. He held on to the rope. And he held on, and now Woodley beginning to feel himself. There's a jab by Woodley. Crowd on its feet. Again, Jake Paul in his hometown, but as many people want to see him get knocked out as are cheering for him to win. He still looks stunned. Woodley walking Paul down, but he got tagged with a right. The plot is the Yeah, high drama indeed as the seconds continue to tick away here in round four as we head to the second half of this eighth rounder. Ah. Oh so Paul facing his first. the first true adversity Jake Paul has faced in an actual boxing match and it came courtesy of this left hook by Woodley who knew he had a left hook he does have one uh, and it was a very well thrown left hook and then later in the round using the jab how about that as a feint and then the right hand kind of gets in on the side of the head and he followed up with a couple punches even though they didn't get there so roughing up Jake Paul a little bit and what appeared to be a fatigue Jake Paul at that point and that right hand bouncing off the side of the head and and, and pushing wow. him against the ropes could you call that a knockdown I don't know definitely knocked him off positioning couldn't make his corner feel good as round five underway I know one thing that's probably the first round that Jake Paul has lost as yes. a boxer and this crowd in fuego here as we begin the fifth Paul looking to bounce back, double jab lands. Yeah, there's a right uppercut by Woodley. Oh, wow. And a hook. Jake Paul needs to land something of note, I think, to keep Woodley off of him. Yeah, Jake Paul is finally in a fight. Yes, he is. Woodley's confidence is growing. He's hunting him down. Look at that look on his face. He's been here before. Jake Paul has never been here before. And this is where Paul, if he's good, if, if he says he's worked on counter punching and he and BJ Flores have done it in the sparring section, this is where that counter punching is going to need to come into the play. And just like uh, you mentioned, Al, our unofficial scorer, Steve Farhood, gave the last round to Woodley, making it the first round that Jake Paul has lost unofficially, at least. Well, Woodley had an interesting quote this 
week he said, I'm going to do something that will be internet breaking. We'll see if he is. There's a straight right hand that scores for Woodley. Hands are low. Now back up to a well, boxing guard. Still, you guys. I have not seen this look on Woodley's face in September of 2018 when he beat Darren Till in Dallas. The confidence is growing. Look at that guy right now. He's starting to believe that he can actually do it. But we haven't seen that for the last four fights. Now, he has not been active in this round. That active in terms of only throwing 12 punches. So he's going to need to be a little more active. It lands up oh, on that left landed for Paul. The crowd eating up every single second. They anticipate a major explosion coming. Both Paul and Woodley waiting for the other to make the first move. And, you know, Woodley not too anxious to engage right now. He's been in with a couple of counter punches, and I think he's got. To, he's trying to be a little bit cautious. Wild right delivered by Paul. Uncharted territory for Jake Paul. And Tyron Woodley in his pro boxing debut giving right, Jake Paul the, the toughest fight of his embryonic boxing career. When Woodley jabs, it's a good jab. It's and as noted, trainer Stephen Bedman Edwards says a jab finds rhythm and breaks rhythms. Well, Tyron Woodley had his moments in that last round as well. Throwing a nice uppercut on the inside. And later on in the round, and there you see him trying with the left hook. Using the straight right hand that gets home. And that's where a more experienced boxer would have followed up with the left hook. Woodley not at that point yet. And then here's where he and Jake Paul had uh, a kind of a, a moment with each other. And Jake Paul, <laughs> I'm not sure what that was, but. Shades of BJ Penn when he yeah. lifted his gloves back in the day, but there was blood on him back then. Round six, Jake Paul, Tyron Woodley, looking to knock Paul off in his pro boxing debut. Step back. And you Keep know, round green. four, fight, a, a, in my mind, a pit, or, or round five, a pivotal round in this uh, fight because, and, and and we'll get more from Steve Farley. Yeah, let's bring in our unofficial scorer. Mo, I, uh, I agree, and Al, I agree that round five was the first really close round. I gave it to Paul. I wouldn't argue going the other way. As a result, I have Paul regaining mm -hmm. a three-point lead with Woodley clearly winning round four. I agree with that, by the way. You know, Woodley's only thrown 89 punches in this fight, and that doesn't mean he couldn't no, still no win punch. by being accurate, Don't but he's going to need to pick up the pace a little bit. Dave Chappelle agrees he's on his feet, encouraging the athletes <laughs> to go to comedy in the house here. So many luminaries out for this unique night. There's a left hook curling behind the guard. The jab, another jab by Paul on Woodley. Certainly feels like he's gotten a second win. And I think we could finally put to rest the question, is he a fighter? I think tonight he is proving he is a fighter. Judicious in dispensing punches out. Yeah, that's I think could be his undoing here because while he's landed some good power punches, you know, only 15 punches this round. Though Paul's only thrown 21, so it's not as if either man has been super busy. And the left hook upstairs by Paul. One, two, and Woodley closes the 
gap starts to dig away with its free hand. Paul is punching totally off his back foot. That's yep. why some of those power punches are making a big difference, but some of them are getting there, and that could be easily be enough to win him this round. Plotting footwork by Paul. 15 seconds left in the round. Well, he thought enough to faint there, and that had enough for that an impact on Woodley. He does number seven. You heard Gerald Tucker say, move your head to Tyron Woodley. That's often been a critique of MMA fighters. They don't move their head enough. Mm -hmm. okay. And they don't move off that center stop. line. And now Woodley, a Russian Paul into the corner. Hey, I got you. Hey, listen, Time ticking away. When you're inside, and they right? want to express the urgency. And, he, and he's got to get in there and, and throw punches. Now Tucker doing his best Angelo Dundee impression there. <laughs> yes. You know, I think the one missing piece in there, you see a little of it. I think if Woodley was jabbing his way in, he's showing a decent jab. It would put him in position to throw some of those power punches. And I, I wouldn't even suggest it, except we've seen he can do it. It's never been a punch he threw in no. MMA. Right. But to your point, there's something there. He just needs to throw it more. Exactly, and he understood that. Paul's punches are certainly wider now than... Oh, and he got caught fight. with that left yeah. hand by Woodley. And the wider they get, the more Woodley could take advantage of that. Woodley staying composed in the center of the ring. Granted, we'd love to see an uptick in offense as they exchange. Paul's circling away, and Paul takes another deep breath on his back foot. Well, this is one of the few rounds in which Woodley already has thrown more punches than Paul, so he has been a little more active. And just past the midway point of the seven. It was billed as... Jake Paul's down with a minute 10 left in the seventh round. Just over four minutes total left in this fight. Al, has Jake shown you anything that has surprised you from his last fight? You were there ringside. Anything new? Well, I, no. I mean, I think he's, you know, he's showing some resilience in being able to, to, to go this distance right now. Um, you know, as the fight goes on, his technique becomes just a little bit Oh, there's a less. left hand that went through the guard for Paul. Neither fighter able to put together sustained attack or combinations as again they clinch. Okay, and that will eat up precious seconds yeah, from the clock. Which does not help Woodley. Woodley could steal this round. They are close. There's a right hand by Paul, and Woodley nailed him with the left. And that right hand would have been a little more powerful had he not thrown it off his back foot. Three minutes left. Nine. Early on in that last round, Woodley did have uh, this good moment. Landing that kind of uh, short left hook. A leadoff left hook. Later on, though, it was Paul who I, I thought was effective in the latter part of the round and may well have been enough to win him the round. Uh, landing this overhand right, and that was a good that was a good overhand right by Paul. And you know, he's gotten some good right hands in. Eighth and final round. They didn't touch gloves at the beginning. They just touched gloves now to kick off the eighth and final round in this crowd. And Fuego! And they did warn Paul. They said he's going to be needing a knockout, so you're going to have to be careful. And Woodley is seeking that right now with the jab. Setting it up, but not utilizing the jab. And they're both just throwing haymakers wildly. Woodley has to throw everything at him. He has to know that he needs a finish to win this fight. And of course, we feel that way, so does Steve Farwood. Uh, Official scoring. Judges may be seeing it differently, but it would be hard to imagine. It is what it, what it, <laughs> no, maybe it would, given what we've seen this year.
Overhand right there, Lee. Paul throwing from out of range, backing up. And Tyron Woodley right in front of him. Woodley looking to deliver a punch, but it gets smothered as they get close like Starsky and Hutch again. Yeah. And at 42 left. Very smart by Paul to kind of, every time he does that, he takes some seconds off the clock. Jab lands for Paul. Really every single punch becomes that much more valuable as the time continues to tick away. forward with the double jab Woodley stays out of range but Woodley needs to ratchet up his offense you know Paul said he actually said I am looking past Tyron Woodley well you can't because Woodley has given him a very good effort even if Paul is winning this fight which he probably is Woodley said he grew up in environments and circumstances that are way more scarier than a fight he says fighting doesn't give him anxiety. His fear comes from underachieving and not doing his best, Stereo. And guys, we may be looking at the final 40 seconds of Tyron Willie's career. Yeah. His legacy potentially on the line here. Let's see what he has left in him. 35 left. Regardless, I think he has represented himself very well. Yeah, he hung in there and uh, landed some good oh, just shots. landed a right hand. hand. And Woodley might be winning this last round. I doubt that it would be enough to win him the fight. No. Well, they're both winning when it comes to subjecting each other to capitalist punishment. You bet. That's for sure as this fight will go to the judges.